milestone here in Memphis and Shelby County in our region. COVID-19 and the Delta variants are breaking records in Memphis hospitals. Uh, we have surpassed the highest number of COVID patients in the hospital and the ICU this week. We have more than 700 people hospitalized uh, with COVID-19. Doug McGowan, the Chief Operating Officer for the City of Memphis, says National Guard members are being deployed here to help with hospital staffing. So 30 medics and about 30 administrative personnel. That will allow our hospitals to uh, maintain and keep open uh, some additional rooms. It will also help with their capacity to administer and infuse monoclonal antibodies. COVID isn't just a problem for adults. There are now more than 2,700 active COVID cases in children. Dr. Michelle Taylor, the Shelby County Health Department director, says pediatric cases are putting a strain on Labonner. In addition to seeing positive COVID-19 pediatric patients, they are also seeing an uptick in other pediatric conditions right now, which is giving them more strain. So they're seeing more cases of RSV, and as you know, we're going into flu season too. As for the city's door-to-door on-demand vaccination program, it will be ending this month so crews can be dispatched elsewhere. Frankly, we are uh, preparing ourselves for that uptick in boosters and an uptick in demand for vaccines now that the FDA approval has been received. And the current mask mandate will likely be renewed without any drastic changes for businesses and restaurants. Yes, it will be renewed. Uh, and for right now, it will not be stricter. So we have put in language saying yes there is a countywide mass mandate for indoor public spaces but we are also highly encouraging people to wear their masks even outdoors if they cannot safely social distance and by the way doug mcgowan also says the pipkin building mass vaccination site will now stay open until winter and to meet the demand for more testing capacity will be increased at the poplar health care on hacks cross road the old vehicle inspection station on lamar and christ community health services on south third street